Hey, hey, and hello, everybody. <clears throat> um, don't know how to help you, Doug, because you don't have any faith in sending me a picture, so. Hello. I don't know. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> come back. Come, come back. What's happening tomorrow? Daddy's coming. Woohoo! Daddy's coming for four days. Is he going to be here on Thursday? Today is Thursday. No, is Daddy going to be here? No, he won't Thursday? be here next Thursday. Oh. Anyway, that's our big news. That's Dren's big news. My big news is I am leaving on the 19th to go to New York. Doug, do you have any big news? Doug, Doug? Thanks, Doug. Commercial, blah. <laughs> anyway, let's do this real quick. We have Denise, who is, is working, and we have Sue, who is in Donna and T's show. We have Doug, who's working, pulling his hairs out. And we have Sue again here telling Doug hi. What do we got? My girl, Janet. We have Miss Mia. Um, do, 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 do. I'm hoping I'm not missing anybody. Well, you guys are having a full-on conversation. Where's Ethel? She's not here yet. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. How are you? We have Charnel. Hello, hello. And anybody else? Digging, you told me your name last week. I can't remember it. I'm just going to be outright and honest. I'm having a, a really, um, I was talking to my younger son who lives here earlier today. Let me, let me change the light so you guys can see every wrinkle on my face because we know that's what y'all want. <laughs> oh my goodness there we go gotcha i know she's probably buying something from somebody that's that's my guess anna i gotta write that down i'll remember it i knew it i knew it i knew it i'm gonna write it down i don't normally have a problem digging Dawson finds The other one that I had a problem with for a long time is Patty and Jack and Piper. That's what she goes by. And, you know, you guys don't have to tell me your first name if you don't want to. A lot of people, a lot of people have a, this is their, this is their safe place. Hi, Chrissy. How are you? A new, a new friend. Um, Chrissy lives in Eastern Oregon and um, I met her through um, Rebel. Um, Rebel Reseller. If you guys aren't following Rebel, go follow her. If you want to learn about plush and just a real nice person, then she's your girl. Um, do, 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 do. So, how many of you? We're going to talk about figurines, knickknacks. What, what's the what's the title of this thing? <laughs> Who titled this thing? I should probably go back and and change the title. Collectible knickknacks. Oh, I forgot. I, I miss. I, I'm. I'm doing so good. It's not even funny. You'd never know I was college educated. Collectible knickknacks you never look at. I'm gonna have to go back and add keywords and and all of that good stuff because it was like two o'clock in the morning when I did this last night, and I'm trying to get it out at least a day ahead. I need to get it out a few days ahead. Somebody told me it's not showing up on my in my feed and people aren't getting notifications. So. Knickknack health. That's a good one, Doug Doug. <laughs> Gotta step outside and check the dancing chickens. Oh, there you go. Anyway, so um, you know, I never never say never. Isn't that the song from Five Goes West? I think that's what it's on. I never thought that I would sell this kind of stuff. I, I really never did. Because um 
Hi, Amy. How are you? Tchotchkes. Yes. Um, I don't like them. Why don't I like them? Because you have to dust them. Somebody has to dust them. And I don't like to dust. I never have and I never will. So I have a bunch of everything that you see in my office, except for maybe those Halloween things I haven't decided yet. I made those in 1990, something like that. Um, I haven't decided yet. They all need new, new, new light, new wires and stuff like that, but they're old. They're worth money. They're, they're hauling molds and stuff like that. I'm just not pictures. Um, that's different. My youngest son painted that. It's hard to see it, but I love it. It goes in. So artwork and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, so I never paid attention to them cause I didn't like them. And, um, in the famous last words of Miss Lissa Morris, Bobbles, Blings, and Needful Things, just because we don't like it doesn't mean there isn't somebody else out there who does. So with that being said, hi, Lori, how are you? When you are, th there's, there she is, you're Ethel. You're late, <laughs> but I'll forgive you because I love you. You're here, but you have to finish washing a load of clothes. I, I got Dren on that. <laughs> Dren's been washing clothes and, and his plushies, his stuffies all yesterday and today because daddy's coming. Anyway. Hi, Karen. How are you? How are you? Karen's been <laughs> mad watching and <laughs> I, I don't know why, but she, you had left a couple of comments on some videos that I didn't get a notification of, but I noticed them this morning. Anyway, um, so um, I appreciate everybody that's here, everybody that's that's uh, watching behind the scenes. So I don't pick up a lot of things. And, and it's funny because the first thing we're going to talk about is, let's see if I can pronounce it correctly. I got to read it. It's here somewhere. Um, artisana rinconata. Now these were made, these were, I'm, I should probably open up the thing. This is one of them. And they're just little tiny, uh, clay hand, handmade, um, figurines from Uruguay, 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 however it, however we pronounce it made by two brothers. And I'm going to pull up a thing. There's links down below. I'm flying to New York. Yes, I am. Um, anyway, and then Doug Doug's got, Doug Doug, did you say already? Did I miss it? Um, Doug's got some news too. Anyway, so what's funny about this, and I don't know if I've unpacked them yet or not, but years ago when my boys were little, our next door neighbor, she had been a missionary when her kids were little. And, and Ben and was in Uruguay and she gave each of us one of these. And I never put two and two together that they were this until yesterday. And so, um, and they're either on a shelf out there. I don't think I unpacked them. If they are, they're on a shelf by the door or they are still packed up, but I won't get rid of those three only because she was an amazing person and, and, and that's just three of them. She gave them, one's a bat. I can't even remember what one's a parrot sitting on, on a shelf. Yeah. This right here, this right here, Doug's coming to New York to see Jan and I, I can hardly freaking wait. Lord have mercy. The gates of hell are going to open up and swallow us all. Um, anyway, with that said, <laughs> So how many of you wonderful humans are familiar with artisana rinconata? Let's just share the screen and get into this. I think it's, nope. I have several sites. Every one of these sites that I have here, this is my favorite one. Um, Every one of these is linked down below. So if you guys get any of these, you can go and do research. And, and 
look, this is this is a blog a vlog by somebody who's collected these and and she's doing the first 100s and she has written all about it and she's got pictures and she's got them numbered and what the prices were were when they were purchased and stuff like this and i have this one i have this one i have a lot of these because i bought 38 of them i think i got this guy right here yeah he's tiny he's like fit in the palm of your hands tiny i got this one anyway so this 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 site right here is really cool because it gives you the numbers um and then that's the main reason that i'm showing you this one it's a real quick way to go in and see because what happened was they made a bunch of i love this shark over here so every one of them i think that she has she's put the information that she's found on them she's done a lot of work on that so i'm gonna close out of that for the moment but my favorite one is this one rin Konata collection i gotta make sure aren't they nope not me well for some reason they seem to be really super making um a real popular comeback or something i don't know if you follow jocelyn crazy lamp lady she talks about these all the time and and rin Kanata didn't just make these little figurines they made other stuff too and um i wonder if this is the one where it talks about this one is like um you go in here to the collector's catalog hello let's see if it'll let me and then it has all the different kinds 19 1901 products decorative object objects large uh deco large figurines top collectibles most valuables so then let's let's just click onto this these are this is for these and it has them separated by what they are pets amphibians and reptiles birds farm countryside prehistoric mythicals butterflies fish and marine wild animals so you click on this one i said click on that one <laughs> somebody's got to listen to me and then it's going to go in and it's going to pull these guys up one by one so so you know you if you have an armadillo there's eight products and does that mean there's eight products for sale no it means there's eight different armadillos and they're all going to be a version of number 61 because not they're they're one through 100 and they um are, if they're discontinued or a different style um then they you'll see second mold first mold round so this is probably in my opinion the best site and and you'll see that this one that i have in my hand has a little bit of um glaze on it the ones that are really worth the money are like the ones you're looking at there and then these ones that have gold and such on them and they will have i'll show you this right now but then i'll show it to you in a minute too they all have stamps on them but this is this is a special one um so if you're looking at the prices here that's what they should be and it'll tell you right there retired right i clicked on this retired 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 so if you're doing research on these i beg you to not go on to ebay and do research on these go on to google or come back to here and and this will be here forever and get these get these sites okay i'm going to close out of that one and then this one is pretty cool too it's very similar to the other one um and it but it has lost argentina figures um trinket boxes so these are also um these are the de rosa but they're also made by by them so and a lot of people don't i don't think that even are that know about the the actual figures themselves realize that there's all of these other things out there too and the best thing about these is 
the majority of them were sold out, limited edition, 100 of them, and they would have come, let's open this up. They would have come with, this one came with a ceramic baby, and it's going to show you what all it looks like. All right, so this, this site right here is really good for learning about all the different, here, silver anniversary figures. So, like I said, this this lamb, it's not silver, it's gold. And I don't know. I don't know if it's marked or not. Let me look and see. I mean, if it's marked with a number. De Rosa. It doesn't have a number on it. They're super easy to figure out. Um, oh, my light will stay. Um Hi, Boatman, Boatman, Hope, Maria, anybody else that I missed, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to get too distracted, and I, and I do that to myself very easily. So if you'll look in here and see, these ones are more ornate, and they're worth more money. And here, like, here's a mythical, one of the mythical creatures, right? So you can't get this anymore on, you can't purchase this anymore, the only way to purchase this is through here now um artisana rinconata where did i read this is it on here Ooh, this place has a lot on it i was trying to remember where the heck i read this but it the art technically the corner collection um, and it has something to do with the Rinconata. So art and uh, Rinconata, I believe, is in the corner. Um, because that's what, what these two brothers, Jesus and Javier, don't quote me on that one either. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, um, would do. They did, they had, they originally were in Spain. They um moved to Uruguay and that's where they did all of their artwork and stuff. I must not have pulled that that up. Um and so artisana rinconada means art in a corner, the corner collection. That's what this is called. And so all of the pieces have this mark. Let's go back here so I can go full screen. And it's, it's almost, you can look at it and go and go and go, but it's A, that's the A, and the R. And it almost looks like it's upside down. A-R, you can turn it any way you want, but A-R, Artisana Rinconata. They will all have that on there. And they are all handmade. Man, that's a, I got to. I got to talk to my production crew. <laughs> this one right here is a collector's piece. And you can see how it says Rinconata. And you see the big AR and the De Rosa. So this would have either, this would have been a, a collector's piece. Hi, Marie. How are you? I wouldn't have been here. What were you leaving the hospital for? Your, your foot? Um, anyway, so these are highly collectible. I have mine priced. I don't have all of them listed. I have, I have, I have some of them listed, but let's just show you a few of them. Um, there's the fish and see how it has the AR on it. Um, don't be fooled. There are some out there that look like it that aren't. This looks like it could be, but this is, is, um, C O A D. It's another it's another maker or something similar, but it's still, it's still collectible. I'm not sure. I think it's a water buffalo, but I'm pretty sure it's male. I'll let you figure out why. There's your AR. It's got a little flower on the back. <laughs> pretty sure this guy's male too. They spared no, no detail. Um, this guy's cute. I, I like this one. He's pretty cool looking. 
No, they're not resin. They're 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 clay. They're hand. They're pottery, and they each detail on here is fired separately. So this is put on. It's fired. It's carved, and it has the the hand painted pieces, and then it's fired, and then it, the um, glaze is put on, and then it's fired, and then if they're gonna do gold, then the gold is done, and it's fired separately. Hey Dom, how are you feeling, buddy? Fish is dew colored. Dude, I found two glass Mountain Dew um, bottles. They're in my car. I'm gonna I have a I have a bunch of other stuff down at the shop. Getting ready to send you a package, buddy. You need a care package. Um let's see. A lot of dogs. And then there's this little guy. He's cute. Little teddy bear with his candle. There's their, your AR. So um, I have a bunch of bunch of them that are listed already wrapped up and put away. This one's kind of could almost be a jackalope if they'd have put the antlers on it. Um, anyway, I know that I think it was the last. The last sale that Kat and Yvonne, uh, Thrifty Rich had, Yvonne had a couple pieces of that. And um, oh, Vintage Co., why can't I think of their name? They just had a sale today. Night. Um, they had a bunch in their picture on the community tab. They put a picture out and they had a bunch. So, um, people are, are highly collect them. They're, they're, they're extremely collectible and what a neat thing to collect. I mean, they're not made, they're made in a foreign country, but they're made in that foreign country. Here's a little Shih Tzu. Here's Daisy. She needs a haircut. You will always, sometimes some of them have a, will have, you see where it was? There's a blue tag. One of them here has it. The the dog life in this in this is amazing. There's your what is this? I'll let you guys decide. Um, and when I <laughs> I kid you not, hot diggity dog diggity oop, what you do to me? There's your. This is DJ. That's not RJ. So fooled. I'll have to check this one out. I haven't obviously haven't listed that. Cats. Pretty cat. Um, what else do we have here? Don't worry about the this the these ones like this, they're gonna have wear. You can see where the where the actual tag was. They got a lot of these from the Goodwill. And how do we know? Because the Goodwill has those stickers that are a pain. This guy right here. <laughs> he was thinking, shh, don't tell on me. You found one? You found one, Anna? Good, do good job. So keep your eyes open for them. Dom, I expect to see you picking one up here in the next few weeks. Here's a, a walrus. These little tusky tuskies. And that's just a few of them. Like I said, I have. And then, you, but you also need to know they're tiny ones too. There'll be a bigger dog this size too. If you look, if you look them up and you look at your, um, I have wear on my bottom too. Oh, okay, Denise. I think a lot of us do. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, if you, I mean, if you're interested in them and you think you might see them, if you go to estate sales and garage sales, it probably would behoove you to go to one of those sites I posted. Don't go on eBay. I, 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 as a matter of fact, I don't even do my research on eBay anymore. I haven't for months, um, m simply months. I start with Google and um, and I don't even price my items 
per what eBay, what's selling on eBay, because so many people are selling items for cheap just so that they can sell stuff. They're ruining the collectibles market. They're bringing prices down because they need to make a sale. Only one. Um, well, I would like for you to find more, but I, I, I mean, I, I think you can find one. You're becoming more and more like me every time I watch one of your shows. See if you can find one of these, Dom. This, anybody know what this is? There's got to be somebody out there. We didn't pay $6. We paid two. Somebody's got to know what this is. Dren picked this out. Anybody? Give you a minute because there's there seems to be a pretty good lag. I think to myself when I'm watching Dom's estate sale videos that he's he's channeling me. We had we we almost did the Vulcan mind meld when I was in New York last year. <laughs> nope. Jody got it. Hi, Jody. When did you sneak in? This is a toothpick. So you put your toothpicks in here. This is a COVID toothpick. You put your toothpicks in here. And you go like this, and the little toothpick comes out, and the bird picks it up and goes like this, and then you take your toothpick. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, it needs a little it needs a little bath job, but they're pretty collectible. It's it's worth right around 15, 16 bucks, something like that. So, you know, um, I may actually keep that because we do use quite a few toothpick holders here, but somewhere I have a brass one too that does the same thing, but this this one kind of fits in with my house, I think. We'll see. Anyway, it is fun. They're fun. So when you see something that looks like this and you can't figure out and it doesn't take batteries and what the heck's going on with it, it's got a little thingy down there, check it out. Check, check, check it out. <laughs> that's that's your, one, your one kind of bolo. They make all different kinds of them, by the way. But they'll be in some, some shape or form like that. And some of them are more collectible and worth more money than others, right? So, I know the googly eyes are the best. That That's probably what caught, caught, caught Dren. Well, he's a kid, too, and he likes to touch everything and, and check things out. And luckily, I really only take him to um, two different gals that um, do estate sales because they love him and they think he's pretty cool. Older ones are wood, metal, cast iron. I have a cast iron one. Yep. Anyway, so, and hi, Karen, how are you? Um, wait till you see your, my, your next video, best estate sale ever. I have four estate sale videos banked that I need to get out and they are going to be over an hour, maybe an hour and a half each. So that's how they're going to be. That's how I'm going to put them out. You can watch them or you cannot watch them. I'm just going to put them out. I videotaped them for you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not a 30 minute or whatever kind of person. So when you go to an estate sale and there is a whole six foot table just loaded, these were actually in a wooden box, like a wooden ammo box downstairs in the basement. Um, and there were a couple on a shelf. I actually videotaped this, this, this estate sale that, that I'm talking, that I got these from. Um, and so that'll come out soon. I'll probably, I'll try to put knickknacks or something like that. So you guys can, can tell, but, um, they wanted $12 a piece for these, which is about some of them. That's about what they sell for some of the littler ones. Some of them are not perfect. Like this little raccoon right here is missing his fish. So, you know, you're not, you're not going to get complete keep you keep a bag of googly eyes for any relative photo oh that's a good idea <laughs> ethel i don't need any help <laughs> i get myself in trouble all by myself um 
<laughs> anyway, so I don't normally look at the figurines and the little nickety knackety stuff because I tend to more look at useful things. Um, as you guys know, I know it's not a great idea. You guys get yourself some googly eyes so that you can so that you can ramp up your photos you know you want to do it for your for your, your horrible i love it english staffordshire i need to get rid of these english staffordshire now staffordshire let's let's go over here our amazingly sought after um they are worth an amazing amount of money um let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger i gotta remember to uh um, that might have been too much. I don't know. I don't know. I just want you guys to be able to read this. English humor has always, and I probably made it too big. We don't need this side over here. There we go. English humor has always traded on the risque, even transgressing into the outright broadie at times. So it seems ironic that one of the most traditional vehicles for transmission of this humor in Victorian and Edwardian times, the fairing is German in origin. For the uninitiated fairings are small, brightly colored porcelain figural groups mounted on rectangular bases and usually about four inches long and tall. With more than 400 different figures recorded, fairings depict amusing, cheeky, charming, or newsworthy. Dom, there's a title for your Sunday show. Amusing, cheeky, charming, or newsworthy subject matter. <laughs> That's a you, you got you got to copy that, Dom. Um, anyway, <laughs> subject matter were popular in Britain from the 1850s until the early 20th century. Some had practical uses like trinket boxes, watch stands, match holders, strike uh, match strikers or holders, which I think I have one of, and uh, were given away as prizes at fairs, similar to carnival glass. Right? Where did Carnival Glass get its name? It got its name from, I bet you I'm not on top chat. Oh, come on. No, I wasn't. Live chat. There we go. Um, hello, 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 Miss Patty. So these, these little boxes, I have a couple. I'm going to show them to you. Um, but I wanted to tell you the story because I think sometimes when we hear a story about something we we remember it i don't know it sounds good to me anyway um and as their name suggests fairings were sold or given away as prizes at fair or sold as souvenirs at holiday resorts the word fairing may be uh, the shortening of fair earning for a task well performed and the fairing itself the reward for a victory in fairground competitions very little information exists about fairings and their manufacturers, possibly because when they were made, they were regarded as disposable rather than as items to be cherished and passed on as heirlooms, pretty much as cheap and gimmicky china or plastic figurines are today. Consequently, little notice of their provenance was taken. But what we lack in factual information about fairings has been more than compensated for in hearsay. For such a small item as a fairing, the misinformation that has sprung up around it is surprising. Resolution of a few of these hoary old chestnuts, that doesn't sound good, is a must in order to set the record straight so that fairings can be appreciated for what they actually represent. It is unusual to begin the examination of an antique by what it's not, but by such a strange means of examination benefits the fairing. And so um, they want to make this clear that most, most of these, first of all, let's make it clear that fairings were never made in Staffordshire. Not only were the types of clay used for the two different types of figures very different, Staffordshire figures were predominantly made from pottery, while fairings were made from porcelain, 
The way they were molded was also different. Staffordshire figures were hollow, whereas early fairings are solid. And that's something that you need to know because there are people that re that re that remake these and try to pass them off as real. Go figure. Although um there were some very small Staffordshire figures produced. They were usually larger and lighter in weight than fairings. Fairings were usually titled with a pithy, humorous quip. This was never the practice of with Victorian Staffordshire figures because they are snobby. Um, and I am, my family background goes to England, so I'm picking on my own self. Fairings were first made by the German companies of Springer and Oppenheimer of Locket in Bohemia and after about 1850 by Conta and Bohem of Posneck for the British market. The most popular theory for this misattribution involves two world wars. During and after World Wars I and II, German fairs fell into disfavor, but products from England were popular. Ceramics from Staffordshire region were particularly appreciated, and since fairings needed a more appealing description to assist their sales, the term Staffordshire was substituted to hide the real history. Huh, what do you know about that? It was a description acceptable for the times, and unfortunately it stuck subsequently confusing collectors for decades. I love this stuff. It's like mysteries from the deep. Another misconception is that all fairings have comic, as in comedic, subject matter. Although most groups are humorous, some mid-Victorian examples depict statesmen or scenes from the Crimean and Franco-Prussian Wars. Many of the inspirations for fairings also came from printed sources, such as sheet music covers um, and blah, 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 by the Ed by the Edwardian period when the popularity of fairings was in decline and their makers were looking for more respectable markets, sentimentality was substituted for ribaldry. Angelic looking children and wee animals became popular mantle fillers. I like this one. Um, for the joining fairing routine of bugs and beauties, outraged fathers, henpecked husbands, timid newlyweds, weds, and old leechers, all caught in body comic vinaigrettes. Fairings have been painted titles and sometimes come in pairs, such as before and after scenes. But the move to politically correct subject matter made even these titles transform from the risque to the ribald to the respectable. So you can go down here and finish reading this because I'm sure you guys, this was done in 2007 and it is from, um, let's go back over here and go back down. It is from antiqueweek.com because I would not bring you something that, um, that isn't good information as far as I'm concerned. I can't tell you how many photos make me so much happier to look. Uh-oh, what'd you do? All right, so. This is one of the later ones, and this is actually, you would put your matches in here, and there's your striker. This little guy right here is worth about $75. That's the price they had on them day one. Day two, nobody had bought any of these. I came in and I got this big box and I filled it up and I bought every single one of the Staffordshire items. We'll put the little quotes up there. You hate snakes. Um, figurines that I, that they had. And I ended up paying, I think $5 a piece. Now I could have waited until Sunday and went back and I didn't get there until three on Saturday, but I barely got these loaded up and a sold thing put in my box. And somebody else came in to buy them. At, it was like close to four and she was getting ready to shut down. And I think he thought that if he was smart enough to get there, 
that he could get them for half off. Well, half off day would have been Sunday. So I still got a pretty good deal on these considering how much each one of these is worth. So would you pay $5? I know it says six. Are you going to pick this up or even touch it? Would you have before you saw this and looked at it and said $6? Eh, I, I, I don't, I don't think I want that. I don't, I don't think I, I, I don't think I want to do that. Um, I'll come back the next day. Well, that's what I did the first day because I had so much stuff and I was so tired and I had literally gone to two estate sales in a row and I had to go and pick Dren up. You wouldn't have picked it up, Maria. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Well, now maybe you guys should start picking these up because it's super simple to put this in your hand and snap a Google Lens picture of it and it'll tell you. So that's what I did when I went back. What I, exactly what I did when I went back. I literally stood at that table. Um, she had a six foot table. I put Google Lens on and I snapped pictures. And where is this little one? Victorian Conta. This these people have theirs. Um, the, they have it right because they're from they're from Great Britain. They have one similar, a little bit different, right? It's got the doggy. This one right here, they have listed for what would be $30.66 plus $28.63 shipping. So if you were doing free shipping, this would be a $50, a $60, $70 item. Um, I know I did find this one. I did a little bit. Um, here's one on Etsy. What are they asking for it on Etsy? Oh, darn it. It's sold. So um, so we're not going to find out. But there aren't a lot of them for a reason. People don't pick them up. And if things aren't picked up at an estate sale and they're left at the end, they A, either get dumped into boxes and go to the Goodwill and they're lucky if they make it without any damage or they just go straight to the dump. I would be thinking it's crazy to dust too, but I'm not buying it for me. And that right there is one of the major points of this whole video and knickknacks. If you and me and everybody else, if we want to be successful, you can't constantly and consistently always pick up the things that you like and you enjoy because you are you and you don't like this, but somebody else does for $70. No, I would not say they were rare. Didn't I just tell you that they made thousands of them? What does rare mean, Doug Doug? What rare means they only made a few. I would say they're more scarce. I wouldn't even know that I would say that they're scarce. They're 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 going to be more scarce because people just aren't picking them up. Let's look at some other ones. Don't tell, you know. <laughs> I hate to this, you are correct. I will wash these once. That's it. All right. Here is one of the fairing pieces for sure that they were talking about. There were about eight of these. Somebody did buy some. And it says how it, it, the story that I just read told you rare means you cut it with a knife and it moves. <laughs> how they had a little story on it. This says the last in bed to put out the light now. Um, so the last one in bed has to put out the light. See the little candle on the bottom? And the candle, oh, this one is not broke off. It's, it's not, okay, so it's not rough. So apparently in one of, let's see if it's this one. Let's, let me, let me add this to the stream again and go over here. And let's see if it was written in here. This guy put a little story in which um, I was reading and it made me do a little bit more research. I thought it was pretty cool. 
Um, these fairings were made in England, which we know they weren't until later, mostly Germany. Most made in Germany. Um, where does he say here? The same, an English friend told, okay, here it is. The company developed a mass production method that no other company could match, thereby achieving an advantage over other firms. I think this is a later fairing from the end days of the tradition. And interestingly, the candle is intact. An English friend told me that most people snapped the candle off for good luck when the person won the item at the fun fair after some sort of contest. The same themed fairing of a couple getting into bed. One has to put the candle out was made by Conte Bohem is the most common, which we learned in that um, article that I read you. Uh, remember this right here because I got similar to those. So let's look and see. Um, I think mine may have been done earlier because these, I don't know, but see how the candle on his is red and it's all there. So it wasn't snapped off and I don't think mine was snapped off either. I also posted a link down below with the, the um, it is, let me, let me, it's called, um, under the story of the staff, Staffordshire dog figurines, it says it real or repro, which will help you determine whether or not these items are real or repops. Hi, Courtney. And I saw somebody else, Sandra. I feel like I saw LaDonna, but maybe not. Anyway, welcome in. Lulu, hi, how are you? Cherish Stafford Sire Victoria. Let me, Cher, Lulu put in here. Cherish Staffordshire Victorian style figural porcelain map striker humidor 169. So I won't price mine like like they're priced on eBay. What do they want for this? Fifty dollars. That's not bad, honestly. If you ask me, that's about you know. And then so I got this one, which is a a, a true fairing one one of the earlier ones that they were talking about and and um these are the molded ones this is one of the older ones and it's number it's got a number on it somebody paid two dollars dollars for it somewhere i need to do this so that you guys can see somebody paid two dollars somewhere and anyway so this is one of the molded ones is that right? Nope. This one doesn't have a, um, this one doesn't have anything written on it, but that's what that is as well. Matter of fact, I actually, oh, it's got a broken piece on it. It's got two broken pieces on it. I just know it's three. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I will still sell it. It's missing two pieces there and it's missing a piece right there. I know, especially porcelain or um, any kind of any kind of any kind of clay, any kind of wear that's unglazed. And when they write on it, you can't get that out. That's not coming out. So the best thing to do is leave it. <clears throat> All right. This is gonna blow your mind because it blew my mind. So, okay, Lulu, I'm going to hold these up here for you, but I'll show you some comps on these too. I should probably do it this way. You guys are going to not believe how much these two little thing guys are worth. They wanted $8. I paid 5 because I bought a lot of them, and they... I believe these to be true and real. They have a little bit of crazing, but the ones that I've seen online had a lot more crazing than this. And some people love crazing. I think crazing personally um, adds, let me get my fingers out of the way, Lulu. 
All right. These guys are like four and a half inches tall, I believe is what they were when I measured them. What did I do with my ruler? I like to show you, I like to do my let's talk about it on something that I have learned about myself and picked up because then I actually have it to show you. And I feel like, so, oops, my help if I move my hand, huh? These are four and four and a quarter inches tall, 4.25 inches tall. All right. I can't remember if I have these on my recently viewed. They should be. Uh oh, what did I do here? Should be on here because I did view them. Aha! All right. Now I will share. <laughs> See this? Darling, small English Staffordshire russet calico mantle table cap pair. See how um, crazed his are? I, I love the crazing. I think I, I always have. And crazing is from humidity, right? The inside gets the inside and the outer different temperatures. They're hot, they're cold, the glaze cracks so on and so forth. So it is an age related thing. And, and especially in, you will see it in teapots and coffee cups and all that kind of stuff. Hi, Miss Jessie. How are you? And hi, Kathleen. I don't know if I saw you when you got here. So these ones right here are amazing, but let's just go down and like this guy, this shop, where is he? Specializes in these. Oh, I guess he's clear up here. And you can tell that he has, he's, uh, he, they, I should say, 2,262 feedback, 2,662 feedback. This is what they do. This is what um, they sell in their store, and they are very good at it. And I have some, I have some similar to this. Same thing. Dogs were a big, big, big thing. There's a link down below. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's just let's just go into their store. Items for sale, 506. And and the majority see all items. And they sell a lot. And you can do this sold listings. Let's go and see. Let's go and look at their sold listings. I think this is that same person. Should be. Yeah, their store sold listings. You guys know you can do that, right? You can look at people's sold listings. 197. Here's a dog like those cats. Here's um, a chinoisere, which is similar to Flow Blue, but not. I don't know why this says ginger jar landscape ink box ginger tea jar pair. Okay, because this is a ginger jar and they come in different shapes. Um, here's a dog. Got it. <laughs> But look at these, some of these, so these, I'm going to tell you right now, if you see these, what's the word I want to use? I'm getting myself in trouble with somebody. Um, <laughs> ugly little dogs, <laughs> pick them up because somebody else doesn't think they are. Now, do you guys, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. You're going to call it crazing instead of wrinkles now. There you go, because that's what it is. Okay, I'm going to show you because there's new people. There's new people. I love that. Um, for those of you 
that do not know, and those of you that do, quietly sit by. I'm going to show you how to find out what this sold for. If you have a store on eBay, I don't need to do this. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I do because I need this. You are going to copy and paste. You're going to copy that. You are going to... We're going to go back here because I want to come back to this. We're going to go into your Eller Hub. And you are going to... Look at this, you guys. I have... 2,223 listings and no sales for today will be day three. That's how it goes. I may have $1,000 of sales tomorrow. And that's how it works. But I'm not going to complain. I didn't have to ship today and I didn't have to ship yesterday. You're going to go into research. And you're going to go into Terapeak product research. And you are going to paste that title in here. And Oh, hey, what do you know about that? I just got an offer. Um, and then last 90 days, right? And down here, it's going to tell you all of this stuff about it. And right here, it's going to tell you that thing. And they sold it for $330. That is how you find out what somebody took a best offer for, which is what happened here, right? They took a best offer. They had it listed for $347 and they took a best offer of $330 and I sure would have too. Why not? <laughs> now, you're not always going to find them in perfect condition, right? Look at these. The, 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 the dog or the cat breed makes a huge difference. Same thing. These are Dalmatians. These are Spaniel Fox game dogs. So what did I miss? What did I miss? How do people find so much? of? The, I, I don't know. A lot of these pieces have residue. They traveled. This, this, these people traveled. Um, and I think the only reason, to be honest with you, that I was lucky enough to be able to get the things that I did was they had a huge collection of Native American stuff. And people were more interested. How long are sold list listings kept? Of an, 90 days. 90 days. Now, you can go back and tear peak for a year, but you won't be able to pull that listing up. You can see it, but you won't be able to pull it up. But for 90 days, sold listings are 90 days. You can always see them for 90 days. Um. Stunning, rare English Staffordshire mantle, mantle. This is all the same shop. This is all this. This these guys sell. These here's some black ones. So familiar, familiarize yourself with these because I, I can guarantee you, you're going to run into them at some point in time. I believe I have these white dogs right here, but I have a set of three of the ones that have. Um, they're textured. I'm going to set them right here. And they paid $125 just for the one um, because the original tag's there. And these are original. They're heavy and they're not hollow. They're hollow, but they have a, they have the tiny thing, the tiny. Somewhere in here, I saw these in his store right here. Here we go. Yeah, they have three. They have the two adults and they have the little ones. These all need to be washed because they're dirty and I will wash them gently with a very soft bristle toothbrush. Um, so keep your eyes open for these and they don't, I mean, I, I, I can't, I have no words and that's, uh, that's odd for me, but they don't just look like this. They may look like. Let me go out of here so I can see what, what y'all are saying. Hey, how you doing, Rob? We need to talk about watches. Um, are you still interested in what we had talked about? 
if that's a yes, then I'll tell them. These also. Now, just because this one has a chip in the nose means absolutely nothing when you're talking. These are antiques. These aren't vintage. These are well over 100 years old. Am I going to get as much as one that's in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me finish this and then I'll bring that up. Am I going to get as much for one that's got damage on it as I am for one that's in good condition? No, but I'm still, that's still going to bring a decent amount of money because somebody out there wants it. Um, so Rob, this guy right here, Junk Monkey, is a by trade watch repairman. And I think you guys should all go follow him. Rob, drop your link. Your Yeah. Rob, drop your link in the chat. Feel free to. Um, and he knows he's in the know about the high-end watches and that kind of stuff. So I will be doing a show with him as a special guest. And we will, and he is going to educate us as much as he can in a two-hour period or however long it goes on watches and anything to do with them and how to look for them and if they're worth picking up and all that good stuff. So probably, let's see, probably won't be till the end of September. Um, cause I'm leaving for a couple of weeks. I'm leaving for a week and a half ish. Um, and then school starts back. And so, so we'll plan on that. You don't have any recent videos on yet, yeah, but that will drop your, you, you're welcome to drop your, Oh, Doug, Doug's gotcha. Um, yeah, you do. Uh, he actually does a lot on Instagram. So, and you can drop that too. Um, anyway, so for anybody who sees watches and has no idea what's worth and can't, isn't comfortable comping them or anything like that, Rob is going to teach us. He's going to educate us um, so that we can be dangerous. <laughs> So we can be dangerous. All right. The item that I bought, <laughs> I'm going to show you in a minute, blew me out of the water. Still, still Staffordshire. Um, and these same people, and I know it sells for this because they had a set, of, they had two sets of them and they sold one. Mine need to be washed, but they're in good condition. I did check them out. These, and, and they are actually marked. See that little tiny hole when, when I was reading that article and it talked about a, a bigger hole um, and being hollow? That's the drain hole. Have any of you guys ever done ceramics? I used to paint ceramics. My, my friend's mom had a ceramic studio and I used to paint ceramics and Hola, Mike. Hey, buddy, how are you? Anyway, and a lot of, as I said, I made I made those, but you'll see that a lot of this stuff, a ceramic piece, will have a bigger hole like that, and that is is when they pour the mold will be sitting upside down, and they'll pour the the ceram the liquid ceramic in there and then they turn it upside and dump it out that's where it drains all out and so porcelain these are heavy these are thicker they're more solid so that's more of an air release that little tiny hole there than it is anything so these are numbered this one's got 211 on it and these have <laughs> oh, i feel like i'm actually teaching myself something that i for forgot a long time ago these are 211. They both have 211 on them. I don't know if that's, see that 211. These actually have quite a bit, let's see if it's easier to see. I'm going to drop one of these. Quite a bit more crazing. Can you see that? Especially right here. I, I personally love that. I've always thought that was cool. So, what do these sell for? 211 should be the mold number. That's, yeah. Um, explosions in kilns are really bad. 
You're freaking phenomenal and you're getting better every day. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, let me share here. Um, let's go. I need to go back to this. Right here. Same store. See that? 2662. They had two and they sold one. $597 plus $18 shipping. I paid $5 a piece for these, you guys. Five, $5. There's also, by the way, another drain hole here air hole and another one in the back of her i just noticed those when i was doing this and uh, yeah so hi glenn how are you do you think you may want to start looking at knickknacks in a different way maybe pass by the the electronics that you have to plug in and test and go straight to the knickknacks and start looking at them. I would have paid 20 bucks a piece for these. Would you, after comping them and seeing what they sold for, would you pay 20 bucks a piece for these? Rich people have different tastes. I am more of the trailer trash collector. That's okay, Denise. We all, we all have, we all have our, our different tastes, but the fact that what I'm trying to teach you guys is, is we can't look at things with our eyes being the picking things and assume that because we don't like it, somebody else isn't going to like it. Because how many times do you look at something and you're like, you turn your nose up and you're like, uh, uh, uh. I'll tell you what, I met up with um, one of my favorite people in this area. And no, it wasn't Jody because she's one of them. Um, today, the teeny tiny ones are cool. You have lots of those stored in a hen and nest, do you? Today, um, are they the Wade's whimsies? Because those those go for some money too, and they are uh, made in England as well. Um, I told you the dogs. This is one too, and this one actually, I don't know if it's on my recently looked at because I think I Google Lens it and I don't remember if I did anything with it. You'll give me $20, <laughs> I'll give you a $20, a $20 virtual hug. I'll take that. This dog is worth some money. Here, Lulu. He's missing a lot of his cold paint, but you know what? I don't care. That can be fixed by somebody else. You'll give me 30 Tree 50, tree 50. This, this dog right here is worth um, about 150, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's been a long week. If it's different, if it's different, it's a whistle. If it's different, you may want to you may want to pick it up. They had six bucks on this. Nobody in their right mind, right? I'm cheap, right? Who's gonna pay six bucks for this whistle? I didn't even look this one up because by then I'd already been through the others, and I'm thinking to myself, "All right, I only paid five for it, right? You'll live, Murray. You you have children all the time. As a matter of fact, I need to get them some whistles." That's what, that's what Annie Noel does best. Okay, so <laughs> at this point, just had the urge to bark at me. <laughs> the dog just went flying. Sorry, you guys. Um, at this point now, I'm looking at all the knickknacks in this house because I'm just like, I love you, Marie. I'm just like, what, what the, what have I been ignoring all this time because I, I dislike this kind of stuff. But this isn't about me. This is about what kind of stuff do I like 
that the money I'm going to make from buying this kind of stuff will do for me, right? <laughs> this is got a little chippy chippy in it. Don't care. It's on the back side. You guys don't turn your nose up at chips. There's chocolate chips. There's corn chips. I'm just joking. Anyway, this bird figurine is made by Brad Keller, and it is number 17, mold number 17. Um, I could take the price stick off. They wanted $12 for it. I paid five. Um, so this sells for, let's see if I, let's see if that's in my, let's go over here. I can't remember. If, uh, I don't want Terapeak. Let's see. Let's go. I don't need that anymore either. Let's go back here. That just floors me. Um, I got this dog right here too. Uh, Brad Keller. It's not in one of my recently looked. I'm going to have to go to Google. I, I, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It, this just makes me. Shouldn't even have done that. I think it's antique. I can't re remember. We'll start with vintage. There it is right there. Bird. And it is on eBay. This one's got a little more color to it than mine does. Here's a bunch of them. Nope. 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 That's not. That is it. But it's not what I would, uh, there's many more of them. I would price mine way higher, especially after seeing them. Here's vintage. This is pick a lick. Pick a lick. $9.99. That's ridiculous. This, see what I'm saying here about pieces. Here's $46.99. Similar. $19.99. You need a hug. I don't need a hug. Get get out of here. You get a hug no matter you what. Get, you get out of here. You I'm, get a hug no matter I'm what. I'm telling daddy on you when he gets here tomorrow. You you get away from me. Here's one on Etsy. I love you, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. Really? <laughs> $94. This is exactly the one that I have. And that's what I will list mine for. Signed by artist numbered 17. Well, it's not number 17. It's mold number 17. They may not know that. That's okay. That doesn't make them stupid. But that's what that number 17 on here means is mold number 17. Let's see if theirs has see that right there where it has a 17 i have a chip on mine i might list mine for eight for 79.99 because it's got a chip on it other than that that's what it is porcelain yellow bird on a branch 1940s a lot of things that i am noticing and i don't know if you guys are noticing as well is that people aren't the Q mold, yeah. People aren't doing the research to, could only find this sold so far. That's okay. Um, people aren't doing the research when they post their things. They're just finding it, something that looks similar and going off of that. I've done that myself before, um, but not for a vintage or an antique item. So 1940s, this is almost antique. 
um, 20 more years, right? That'll fly by in, in a flash. I love that kid. He's so excited. His dad's going to be here tomorrow for four days. We have to spend the whole day on Saturday at the fair. <laughs> I may have to be sick. All right. Two more items I want to show you to, to stop and take a look at that. I don't know. Some of you might. Some of you wouldn't. I only looked at them the second day after I had really started getting interested in this. I, I actually did pick this one up and look at it the day before, and I didn't get it because I like the colors. And it just really actually looks kind of to me because I did ceramics for a long time as a hobby. It just looks like a, a hobby piece that somebody painted. And then... You turn it over, and what does that say there? Czechoslovakia. I'll just let that one go. There's the bigger. This one was actually made in Japan, and it has a number on it. Um, Courtney, are you still in here? Are you listening? I hope. Oh, now I got to go look at this. What did you find? Let me go over here. Yep. Look at how good a condition. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Um, hang on. I'm going to type this in, what, what Lulu just put in. Let's go here. Let's go here. Um, I want to get rid of that and that and that and this. And we are going to type this in. Holy... And yeah, that's what I mean. How we should have just put that whole um, do it this way M E I S S E N L A. I don't think mine's this big. This is how this is how technical they get facing right here you go mine's the smaller one right that's mine and it's got more of a darker face on it but um there you go there's mine right there it's on worst point. Uh oh. And and I lost you guys. <laughs> I gotta get you back. I I probably gotta sign in here now. You guys got to take worth point was a grain of salt too. Sixty-seven dollars and on and on the twenty-third August twenty thirteen, and that one's in about as good shape as mine was in. Uh, he's got mine. Mine's missing the paint on its eyes. So, um, let me see what you guys are saying because I can't see the chat. So there you go. Now, yeah, wow, I was right. Sorry, random, but who makes that fan? That fan is made by, it's called the, Drink can tell you all about it, Wuzu um, by Iris USA Inc. 
and I got it at Costco. I actually, we have four of them. We have one in the front room, one upstairs, and my son has one. And that's okay to be random. Um, I love it because it's not just in one area. It, it blows everything all over the place. I was going to get Jan one and send it to her, but they're out in my at the Costco that I go to. Anyway, so you guys and gals, lesson here i hope i hope you you take is um quit walking by the little stuff and start comping it now that we have google lens it has made a huge difference in does it dust right i wish it did a huge difference in how we can um source stuff and not be upset with ourselves over making a bad pur purchase. Did Courtney come back in? Is she still here? Did she, did she head out? I can't remember. She answered. So another thing, um, and this isn't so much so a knickknack. It's, <clears throat> I saw it listed as a bowl. That is not what it is. There's two holes here on each side for a chain to go through, and then you could use it for whatever you wanted to, right? You could put a plant in it. You could put bird seed in it to put it outside. You could do whatever. The teeny ones can be listed as doll. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. This is Majelica, and it's by uh, Scranberg. Uh, I can't pronounce all this. It's made in Germany. And no, I did not pay $25 for it. That's the brand. She is here, but stealth mode because I got something for her and I, I wanted her to see it. I'm going to, I have a couple things. I'm, I'm, I've got a box for her and I saw this and it's amazing. I'm going to take the price tag off it because that's what I paid for it. I don't want her to think I was cheap. <laughs> paid paid two dollars for this, Courtney, my friend. <laughs> That's what you're worth to me. Two dollars. She's not here, or she would be. She would be. Annie, how are you? They did not get it. I miss you so much. I love seeing your a smile back on your face, my friend. This is the coolest plate. <laughs> I'm not a plate person. Look at the owls. Is that I'm th now these are my colors, right? Look at my, look at my wall behind me. This would look so cool. This plate's actually worth a, a, a penny or two. It is by a router porcelain, which is porcelain, um, made in West Germany. And I'm trying to remember. She's not here. She's not here. She doesn't, she didn't care. She doesn't care about her plate. <laughs> $23. One person has it for on eBay. Another person has it for $49 on eBay. Uh, it's all over the place. And there are more of them, right? Because there's a whole collection of them. But I'll just show you that. $24 down there. $49.23. Anyway, it's just cute. And most, most, as we know. Oh, the guy, the guy for um <laughs> I'm getting all kinds of offers. He's offering, anybody want to buy that set for, uh, what did he offer? Yeah, he's offering it to me for $5.56. I'll just nicely decline it. I hate that. Let's see, what else did he offer me on for the dogs? He has them for sale for $3.97, and he offered them to me for, I don't know why I'm saying he. I don't know if it's a he or she, they. Ooh, I almost hit accept offer. That would be a quick cancellation. Um, 
I probably should take this offer that I paid. What are they offering me? $21.99. I'll take that. These are just for, um, actually, <laughs> I think I did a video on these. Medical supplies, right? These are just some prosthetic socks to go over your the area, the stump, or whatever you want to call it, if you've lost a, a limb. And I paid a, about a 25 cents a piece for those three. They were all the same size, so I bundled them together. And I didn't have mine listed for anywhere near what are the, a lot of other people had them listed because of what they are and what they're for. Anyway, so update on Talavera Pottery. There is a Chinese company producing a line they call Talavera. What do you know about that? <laughs> Uh-oh, there she is. You guys just wait. See, see this? See this beautiful soul right here? I antagonized her so bad today, and I did it on video. <laughs> I'm horrible. Hi, Miss Lori. How are you? How are you? Denver Bronco Callers. You know it. Um. Anyway, so I want you guys, I challenge you guys and gals, you wonderful human beings. Hey, hey, Miss Katie, how are you? To start looking at things that are out of your comfort zone. This may be your comfort zone. I don't know. I, I'm not in your heads. This right here. I forgot to show you guys something last week when we talked about plants and herbs. And it's right here by my hand. Um, I don't think I showed you guys this either. I got this at the same place. And it's in the title. It is Royal... Bay Ruth. This picture right here is selling for about a hundred bucks and I paid $5 for it. This is not stuff. I might look at it, but I, I ask Marie. <laughs> She's probably in a coma right now wanting to kill me. <laughs> That's all I can say. On old patches, how many is best to lot them in? I will look them up one by one before I allot old patches. Sorry, that's that's me. This kind of stuff may not be in your comfort zone. I suggest you um, take some time and learn Fenton. This is Fenton, and Fenton is hot, hot, hot right now. Hey, she picker, how are you? Oh my, you definitely made me get stuff out of my comfort zone today. Well, I, did you? Did you honestly? Um, and I'm not laughing. Did you buy the the um, the Chinese thing? Because if you didn't, I'll go back and get it tomorrow if it's still there. Um, I hope you bought it. All right. Something I wanted to show you guys last week that I forgot to, and I left it sitting here on the table specifically to remember to show you. Mortar and pestles. Because of the fact that medicines are so high and they're so toxic because they're synthetic and whatnot, and there's been a huge movement to people buying their own, growing their own herbs, and, and mixing their own herbs, mortar and pestles are very sought after right now. This particular mortar and pestle is old. It has never been used. I believe that it sat on a shelf at a pharmacy. I, Dren's great-grandparents found it, and I bought it from them for 20 bucks. And it is both the, both the handle is stamped. Oh, that is the company, and it's hard to see, USA 531-4. That's the size. And this one has, and they will have different different feet, so to speak. This one is the same. I was tagging some jewelry the other day. See how much of it I can get up there. See that on there? Now, it's hard to read. It's old. It's been sitting there. It's been stamped on. It is, 
I'm just going to tell you. C-O-O-R-S USA 5-31. That's what's on that. That's what's in that area, okay? It is coarse deck, porcelain, M&P with a wooden handle, pestle, and it's Wedgwood. Hi, T. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. Here's your fine. Oh, heavens. You're such a doll. I love you. Anyway, this one is seven and a quarter inches wide by 23 inches around by four, by four inches high. And it's unfinished. So it's not glazed. There's different, there's things in that can't be mixed in here because it's unfinished. And anyway, so mortar and pestles, look them up. If you can get the marble ones, they go for pretty good money too. Um, yes, it's bisque. $695 for that one. The pocket theory stuff is, is, is crazy somewhere. I have a whole bunch of it that I bought last year at a, an estate sale. I haven't had a chance to list. I was hoping to get, I, I, I shouldn't say I haven't had a chance to get it. I didn't list it because I think it will go really well at Halloween time, which is sneaking up on us. Hot huh, Katie, Katie loves <laughs> Halloween. Um, anyway, <laughs> I know too much. Somebody's going to do me in. They're going to send the F FBI after me and, 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 uh, I'll be like on my favorite show that I haven't watched and I haven't watched anything. Criminal Minds. Is it Criminal Minds? Where the gal, the, the, the nerdy gal is the programmer. Because <laughs> she got busted because she was a hacker. And then they brought her in to be their computer person. What the heck? They're just going to bring me in for stupid knowledge person. That'll be me. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. It's a tough job. Hi, Lizzie. How are you? How are you doing? Thanks for popping in, girl. Anyway, there you have it. Not quite two hours, an hour and a half of useless knowledge. I did pick up something today. I may, it may have been a super expensive learning experience only because it's not marked. But if it is what I think it is and what the guy at the estate sell who was super nice, are you still here, Terry? This is tiny. It is literally this is your bolo this is your research this is your five paragraph essay research item this thing is literally two and a half inches if that okay it is bronze it is cold painted it is made by let's just go right here it doesn't have a stamp on the bottom of it. This is the only thing that is, um, am I sharing? Yes. Okay. We are going to go right back up here. If it's what it is, did I tell you already what I paid for it? That's what it is. Franz Bergman, Vienna, Austria. Mine's not quite 90 centimeters and it's not 100 centimeters, but mine is a, a little bit different. We'll open this one up. I paid $125 for it wherever they bought it from years ago. They paid $225 for it. Anyway, it is original. This one here is. I'm not sure mine looks a little, whoa, there goes the light. So this could be an expensive learning experience. That'll be my fault. Um, I did look at it. I did research it. I, I um, cannot find anything on the bottom of it, but Franz Bergman, Vienna, Australia, 
Austria, Franz Bergman, Vienna, Austria, bronze painted brass. There's a link in the description. Um, for RT Antiques that, no, 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 where is it? Austrian Vienna bronze figurines. There's a link in the description that will take you and teach you about this stuff. This is tiny. These, these are tiny. Now, you and I may look at these because they're freaking cute, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm 80% confident that this is what it is. Oh, wow. And if it isn't, oh, well, it's got enough paint loss that you can see the brass underneath it. It, the only problem that I'm having is there is no mark and on, um, Franz, on almost all Franz Bergman items, there is, let's see if they show it on this one. That's what you'll see. So mine's different in every way. It is brass. It is cold painted. It just may not be this brand. And that's how the cookie crumbles. So we'll figure that out. Drilling Franz Bergman in your brain. There you go. And they're tiny and there's all different kinds of them. So go to, go to the links. I, I spent the time to do the research and put the links there for you. And, and it just makes it easier for you, right? So not real Philly cheesecakes. Uh-oh. You guys are talking food already. All right, you guys. That gives you a lot to think about. And you will find they probably paid. Right here, you guys. Best real estate agent in the whole freaking world. Right here. Let me just tell you. Need a real estate agent? Get a hold of my girl. She's the best. I love her. Um, thanks for coming in. Lulu, thank you for dropping um, links for me. I appreciate that greatly. Just listed as haunted for a hundred. Ooh, that's a good idea. I think I can at least get my money back. So I'm not going to, I'm not too freaked out about it. Right. Um, anyway, so try not to think anymore. It hurts my head. Well, these videos are going to be here forever and ever and ever. I'm never going to take them down. So, um, there you have it. If you guys are racking your heads for things to find, to list and sell, I have a whole playlist of, of things for you to get another, <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Doug, Doug, I love you, buddy. You guys are all amazing. I appreciate you coming. I am going to go and do some massive cleaning because my son is coming tomorrow and I have to find a place for him to sleep because I don't have a couch, don't have a dining room table. I only have a chair. Probably going to have to go buy an air mattress. And then my granddaughter, I haven't seen in ever, is coming to stay too. I had a blast, Terry. And um, I'll let you know when I put the video out. She, I found her at the bookshelf and I started pulling stuff up and she took her bags and she, and she told me she was going to leave, that she was jealous and her feelings were hurt. Oh, I never laughed so hard. Anyway, I love you guys. I will see you next week. Have a great week. Go find something new that you wouldn't normally pick up. Put a picture on Instagram or Facebook and tag me in it. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.